Your Excellencies, Abiyah Mahat Ali, Prime Minister of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, I'm so pleased to welcome you to the FO this morning for this historical ceremony, not only for Ethiopia, not only for Africa, and for the world. Because Africa eat enough, eat well, it matters for the global agenda. So first of most, congratulate you, great leader for Ethiopia, with your commitment, with your passion, and you can see the big historical revolutionary change of agrophysics and rural development, and also Green Lexi Initiative. I can zoom in, i fully confident, 10 years later, you will see the Ethiopia not only prosperity and also green and a beautiful country and a peaceful country in the future, soon. <laughs> I'm honored to present His Excellency Abiy Muhammad Ali, Prime Minister of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, with the prestigious effort agrometals the highest award of the Food and Culture Organization of the United Nations from the FAO Director General. And also, more specifically, you are my first offer and to, to you and from Africa continent. Since I come to the office, you know, I met this first, specially deserved for you and for your continent. Uh, and I think there's something express my close feeling with Africa, with Ethiopia. Since 1977, Africa has conferred the Agricultural Medal to honor eminent world figures for their extraordinary role in undertaking outstanding successful efforts in advancing the course of the global food security, poverty alleviation, and the nutrition, of course, include the most complicated issues in the rural development. We need a strong political commitment and, and also the passion and the enable policy to help the people who are in the rural areas. In support of the FL mandate to ensure the humanity's freedom from hunger as set out in our preamble to the FL Constitution. Since taking office in 2018, His Excellency has a tirelessly pursued efforts to realize his vision for food security and nutrition, economic development in Ethiopia and beyond, by identifying and implementing innovative solutions to address these critical global challenges. Through the uh, introduction uh, before, you can fully, uh, it's really impressive and remarkable achievement if, as a professional organization, FAO, we have Edmel and also congratulation, appreciation, not only yourself, and also your people, and your comrades, your partners, support you to implement the, all your visions and make the people living better. His personal commitment to the successful wheat of the food service supply program in Ethiopia has been a source of inspiration in Africa. I always say it. Africa, you have your own solutions. You have your own solutions based on your local conditions and, uh, and the wisdom. So you are experiencing the best practices. You can learn and share with your neighbors, with your colleagues from Africa first. Learning from you, it's really, you know, examples to lead the other friends and brothers and sisters in Africa uh, to change in February 2023, Ethiopia undertaken its first shipment of the wheat export to the international market, a successful model to be followed by other countries around the world. Furthermore, in 2019, His Excellency was conferred in Nobel Peace Prize for his work in ending the 20 years post-war situation between Ethiopia and Eritrea. Also, this politically recognized by the Nobel Peace Prize, 
But uh, FO, as a professional organization, we just uh, look at the professional issues, especially related to food security. And also based on science innovation, based on the investment, based on the, uh, you know, the in, uh, in policy, as I said, because also honorable his prime minister was uh, also some year being the minister of science and innovation and technology, if I remember well. <laughs> so you combine all the three tools together, make things happening on the ground. That's something we need the commitment, the support from the political figures, especially the highest level in the state of the country. Peace is a prerequisite for food security, and peace is crucial for the livelihoods of SOPs who depend on agriculture. Because when you move from the middle low income to the middle and middle high income countries, agro food system transformation and also industrialization and modernization is the only most cost effective approach. That's my understanding during the past 45 years in China, from the $3,000 per capita to the $8,000 per capita. It's dependent on agro food system transformation and rural development and the labor intensive industry. Be more specifically. Today, we also wish to organize His Excellency to focus on transforming as obvious agro food system, improve the nutrition through the establishment of the National Pathway Vision 2030, transforming as obvious food system, supported by the, the Interministerial Task Force on the Food System to scale up the transformation of the national agro food system. I've been there fortunately two times during the past five years. I saw the uh, change from the infrastructure to the agro industry and to the uh, uh, you know, wheat production with the basic uh, improvement of the infrastructure, irrigation system, and also marketing and the seeds technologies. So that's something it's uh, really at the mail. His Excellency has also played a crucial role in, as obvious commitment to a green economy through his personal leadership, amplified by the Green Lexi initiatives. It aims to plant 25 billion seedlings across the countries, which is very well in line with the FL Green City Initiative. I started the initiative during GA, UNGA 2020, together with my colleagues, uh, DDG Semedo. So, we need the uh, members take the ownership and the partnership to, to support the implement the Green City Initiative. That's the future city for Africa, for other developing countries. We need to integrate the agro food system with the urbanization. So I really appreciate also His Excellency, Prime Minister in Ethiopia, to take the leading role on that aspect. Not so many people realize that you did for long vision, because we need the 10 years, 100 years to grow in the trees. Eh? So that's something that's really, you know, attached me personally, because uh, when I was a local leader in China about 20 years ago, so we started designing the forest park. Now, that after 18 years, the people benefited from that. They didn't know what we started planting the seedlings that time. Yeah, very low investment, but now the people benefit from the green city, initial green park, forest park. So that's, I can already also uh, see the future of the your Green Lexi Initiative will be cleaned up your country and make the Esobia become the attractive green country. <laughs>